It feels pretty surreal, I think. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I'm still struggling to put it into words, to be honest, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I've obviously w worked towards this for the last, you know, three years post, post Tokyo and I believe it was possible. And even now, yeah, I, I think, you know, when I cross that finish line, I still don't really believe that it's happened. So it's one of those bizarre things, which I'm sure will take a little while to sink in. But yeah, really, really special and special to share it with family and friends as well. Yeah, I think uh, just echoing what Alex said, it's just very um, special to be able to come here in Paris and perform on the day and uh, Olympic medals don't come by very often, so uh, I'm just very happy to grab myself one. I think for me, it's national lottery funding was the first time where I really believed that elite sport was a feasible avenue for me to be able to go down because of the financial support that we were able to, to get from the national lottery, I think. It's, when you start out in elite sport it's very hard to you know do simple things like pay the bills travel to competitions go to training camps and uh yeah that first bit of support was was really the thing which allowed me to be able to fully buy into that and actually you know give my sport a good go it just having the financial backing from them and being able to access um you know uh medical and physio sport is is crucial for for us